Chief Meteorologist Efren Avante is tracking activity in the tropics tonight. And Efren, exactly where's this next system headed? Well, right now, it's all indications it's going to first head to the Bahamas and then potentially to the southeast of the Atlantic. Right now, this is what we've got. Winds of a potential tropical storm nine stained at 30 gusting to 40 miles an hour. It was stationary about three hours ago. Now it's barely moving to the northwest at two miles an hour, 320 miles to the southeast of the Grand Bahama Islands. That's Freeport where they were hit majorly from Hurricane Dorian. Now the latest track from the National Hurricane Center shows that over the course of the next 36 hours, it may strengthen, but it will still be a tropical cyclone or at least an area of low pressure. Wind speeds about 45 miles an hour sustained until it gets about late Saturday, midday to afternoon, which will then become tropical storm Umberto and start heading towards the southeast coastline of Florida. And that'll be by Saturday evening Regardless of landfall or not, it's supposed to track somewhere through northeast Florida into Georgia. This outline, though, still indicates that it's going to be continuing somewhere into coastal or coastal inland Georgia, as well as South Carolina from Sunday night through Tuesday night. A very slow track as a tropical storm with wind sustained of anywhere from 45 to 50 miles an hour. And a lot of people have asked, well, how come I haven't shown the spaghetti plots? This is why. It's all over the place. So for now, at least for the next 24 to 36 hours, don't even bother looking at the spaghetti plots because none of them are consistent at this point. Now we do have tropical storm watches in effect. This is going to be for the Florida coastline from Fort Lauderdale all the way past Palm Bay up into Juniper, Florida. We have tropical storm warnings, unfortunately, again, for the central and northern Bahama Islands. So this is something, of course, we're going to be looking at very closely over the next few days. Meanwhile, we're watching this one that's got a 40% chance of development. It's still out in the central Atlantic, but will develop over the Lesser Antilles possibly over the next five days. Here in Columbia, though, we've got partly cloudy skies, 81 degrees, but it feels like 86. Now, the forecast for tonight, a low of 72 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, 94 degrees with a chance for very late afternoon, early evening storms. But looking ahead, we're looking at temperatures back into the 80s next week. But the rain chances do go up, and that's going to last several days. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up in just a few minutes.